this is Brian again. I want to take some time now to talk a little bit about the tools uh, in StatCrunch for calculating normal probabilities. In particular, really, it is called the normal probability calculator. And I want to show you how versatile it is and how handy it is for answering a number of different questions that you'll uh, be uh, asked about. Okay, so first of all, this is a kind of a standard type of question. Uh, if you have a standard normal random variable, we are going to very often, if not always, refer to a standard normal random variable as capital Z. Uh, you're interested in the probability that Z is takes some value in some interval. Okay, so um, just take a look at the, the problem. First of all, we're looking at the distribution of Z. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to show you in StatCrunch how to get to the probability calculator and then we're going to do some work in it. So under the stat menu, go to calculators and you want to go down to the normal calculator. Normal probability calculator is going to look like this. Um, we have a standard view, not to be confused, unfortunately, with a standard normal distribution. Um, standard is we're interested in in area to the left or area to the right. Between is area within an interval. So um, let's first just look at the different parts. You have uh, you have this image shading an area in red that we're interested in and then we can specify the mean of the distribution, the standard deviation of the distribution, as well as um, we can have some inputs for calculating probabilities. So if we're talking about a standard normal distribution, that's a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So looking back at the problem, we're looking for the probability that Z is greater than 1.34. So don't be don't worry that we have X instead of Z in the probability calculator. This is uh, generic, but we're looking for the probability being greater than, you just type in greater, click greater than and then 1.34, click compute, and this gives you a nice shading of the probability as well as a calculation exactly of what it is. So you can copy that. Let's just put it, um, let's just put it in. Okay, the probability that Z is less than, so to choose less than, change the sign from greater than or less than, type in the negative 0.37, click compute, and we're in business again. We can copy that probability. Now for the probability that Z takes a value between, you go to the normal calculator between and put in your two values, 0 0.08 and 0 0.57. Compute, you get a nice picture, you get your probability. Now for a probability in the tails, this is the probability that Z is either less than negative 2.4 or greater than 1.78. Um, one way that you can do it is you can calculate the area, um, say first you can go less than negative 2.4, compute that, and I'm going to just put that into my calculator. Um, so we have this probability is 0 0.00819754 and then we can go greater than 1.78 compute that get our other tail point zero three seven five 
3.7.9.8. That will work. So you can get your answer 0 0.04573552. This will work. Um, another way you can do it is to use the between calculator and to put in the two the two values negative 2.4 and 1.78 now this is going to calculate the area between but what you can do is take this because you know that the total area of uh, under the curve the total probability is 1 you can find the area out in the tails by subtracting this from 1 so we can type 1 minus 0.9542648 and we'll get our answer that way as well. So both ways will work. Both ways will give you the correct answer. I think this way is a little bit easier. So I'm going to do that for the next example. Um, speaking of which, the next example, we have a normal distribution where we have it's a what we would call a non-standard uh, normal distribution, but we can enter the mean and standard deviation in here, a mean of 23, a standard deviation 2.76, and we can calculate our probabilities the same way. The probability of x being greater than 25, easily done. probability that x is less than 1.94 just type it in or 19.4 oops easy <laughs> probability between uh, we want to go between 18 and 22.5. Compute that. Get our probabilities. Okay, and you can see now I'm gonna this time I'm gonna once again do from 17 and 27. I'm going to have those give the area in between. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract this probability from one. So do my one minus point nine one one five one three eight two calculate the difference and that's going to be my answer